So the power set is the set of all subsets. So we write it with this like curly P and A is the set I'm considering. So the power set of A is the set of all possible subsets of set A. This is really interesting because the elements of the power set are sets. So when you think about this, you're gonna have the curly braces and inside here, each of the elements that you list is gonna be a set. So I want you to think about some common things. What we know is that the empty set is a subset of any set A. So the empty set is always gonna be the ele an element of the power set of A. And every set is a subset of itself. So A will always be an element of the power set of A. When you think about the, the cardinality of A, like let the cardinality of A be N, suppose it has N elements. Let's say it had three elements in it. Then the cardinality of the power set is gonna be two to the N. This is because for each element of set A, you have two choices. The element can be in your subset you're choosing or not. And so if there are five elements and you take each one and you choose, then there are two to the fifth or 32 possible subsets that you could have. So let's do an example. This one says, find the power set of the set A, which has two elements in it, six and 11. So the cardinality of A is two. So the cardinality of the power set is gonna be two to the two or four. So there are four subsets of set A. We could do the empty set where we don't choose either of the elements. We could do the set containing six or the set containing 11 where we just choose one of the elements. And then we could do the set where we choose them both. So if I'm gonna write the power set of A, I'm gonna put a big curly braces. And I'm gonna list those four sets inside of there. And so there's my power set of set A.